first ELCB conductor. So let's start our wiring. First wire ELCB terminal number two. Connect the wire here. This is uh, 220 or all right. Then connect to your conductor terminal number one. Then the next wire or the second wire conductor terminal number two connect here to your DOL terminal one on the top of the terminal line remember guys this is for output the next Next one from ALCB terminal number two connect to your contactor terminal number one then contactor terminal number two connect to your first terminal DOL output so we have this power already now and let's do the neutral wiring black means neutral so from ELCB neutral ELCB neutral connect to your contactor A2 terminal this is for coin power A2 to your contactor and from your A2 contactor connect to your second DOL output terminal so from here from your contactor A2 coil connect to your second terminal output DOL connect on the top so we have the power wiring already and the next one is for our selector switch to position this is only normally open position so guys we have a blue color for the switch connection so first for your switch one wire connect to your contactor terminal number one which is this red one is from from your ALCB power so connect here together with that Selector input from here connect to selector switch any of this terminal you can use number three or number four uh, but let's use the number three so remember this is your switch this switch is to control the conductor power so we have one uh, the first wire now from conductor terminal number a1 conductor a1 terminal on the top of this conductor from there connect here a1 conductor terminal
connect to your second terminal or terminal number 4 on your selector switch connect here so we have the two wires already for your selector switch it's very easy again from your terminal number one contactor connect to your switch any of this line or I connect it number three then from contactor A1 coil connect to your terminal number four on your selector switch this power when I switch the ELCB power will travel here and the one wire is energized on terminal number three when I put on on position the power will cross here normally close it will come to coil A1 and the conductor will get energized so we have this very simple and basic wiring then this terminal you will install the pumps here I have the pumps already 220 for uh, for our 30 uh, testing purpose only so line and neutral connect here and the pump will energize with this switch so guys we will do the test power testing first we will connect the main power terminal one now we have the main power already so guys now uh, we will connect the single piece dummy motor for testing purpose only so brown is a line Uh, it's just only single phase and, uh, and uh, it doesn't have the earth wire so it's just only for testing this third terminal is is uh, for your um, earth I have 220 motor now so we can energize it and we will do the testing so guys we have the connected power already and uh, Let's check the power is there. We have the 220 power already. And the line, the red one is line. Uh, then we will energize our ELCB. First, ELCB energized, breaker is energized. So now we have power here until the contactor and the first wire of your selector switch. So we have the power ready here now. So when we switch on this one, this the selector switch switch on, then we have the power for the pumps. Pumps here get energized already. Switch off, no power from here. Switch on. So we have the power. Now let's put a uh, little bit water so at least you will see if the pump is functioning very well turn off so now we have the uh, dummy pump this is 220 and uh, we put it in the water already so let's try to energy energize the pump with the switch wow water started and our conductor energized and the DOL terminal terminals got energized. Turn off. Contactor isolated. Terminal isolated. Then your light side there is power. So one more. Let the switch on. Off. Energy. 
guys. 